Hey everybody, before you continue watching the video, make sure you give the channel a like and subscribe. Go and follow us on um, Instagram. Go and check out all the different social media um, scenarios. Make sure if you're enjoying the content, go there, like, subscribe, follow, so we can keep putting stuff out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right, make a comment on either of our pages and we'll answer them as soon as we can. But outside of that, one of the things I always found, especially with the traditional martial arts, is that you were never tested. You would do techniques yeah. over and over again to repetition uh, and to, to nauseam, mm. but um, did it work? Um, and you, you don't know. Like, and I, like, in, in that whole time, I never really got into fights. Like, I'm not like an individual that like, you know, seeks out or even puts myself into positions uh, to, to have mm. to fight. Um, but like, I... I have no idea to this day, mm. like, you know, like... Yeah, that's kind of my point, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. with jiu-jitsu, you're literally testing the, the skills and the techniques every session. People you know? test yeah. every session. Every, every session, and, and, and everyone trained in boxing yeah. for three years and never been knocked out. So you're going to yeah. leave uh, that's, whatever you believe yeah. that you're good enough yeah. or not good, or, yeah. but you know... And this is what I love about jiu-jitsu. You're not is thrown that, into reality the same way. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. Like, every day, and, and it's staged. Like, when you first walk on the mat... You're just a, like a rag doll f for someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, like, exactly. but that's part of the baptism of fire. And like, I think this is like where it, it differentiate people who keep in jiu jitsu and people who don't. You need to take kind of that part of it uh, and put your ego aside and just realize that you don't know anything and that you have to go through that to a point where you start to learn things. And yeah. in my experience, it's like, minimum six months you're not going to have any idea what you're doing and at, at the six months you'll start to you know really understand and, and start to be able to put something back and not not get submitted as easy and then someone who walks off the street you'll be able to handle yourself against them reasonably easy, well yeah. and and to help out when you're starting don't think about what other people think about you because everyone started that way the same way yeah, and yeah, they kept going yeah, exactly so they everyone's the same yeah, yeah we, we always talk about this type of stuff. It's like trying to differentiate like the physical aspect of jiu-jitsu and then like your own mental component that you bring with you, like all yeah. the fear of losing in front of other people or failing yeah. at this thing and blah, blah, and you have to navigate that. Yeah. Also while learning a certain number of skills and movements and postures and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it, it is. It's complex. It's unusual. Yeah. It's you, have to, you have to fall yeah. in love with the failure Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, of jiu-jitsu in the sense of that like you're going to go there and you you're going to you're going to get better yeah. but you're going to have plateaus you're going to have troughs yeah. where like and and i think this is a part of just normal brain development that when you're learning something yeah. and it starts to to really like you know connect those synapses in your brain your brain kind of shuts down you become retarded mm. and then like so for a period of time you're not doing anything well and yeah. i've had that a bunch of times like where i'm just like i can't put something together the synapse is kind of like connect and then bang i have another sort of you know a yeah, peak yeah. or an uplift in in, in the skills yeah. um and that's what i enjoy about it and i think that anyone who's going to be successful in jiu-jitsu has to en enjoy the process of failure because that's one of the only ways to mm. get there there will be successes of course don't let me like yeah. say it's all failure <laughs> but you have to enjoy the failure as yeah. much as the success you have to find the in like the good part of the failure like all right Correct. i've, yeah, the, I've the been benefit. presented an opportunity to evolve learn ex yeah. expand my mind whatever whereas a lot of people approach it with that idea of like yeah. oh i keep losing oh it sucks and wham, wham, wham. yeah and like they keep going on this like downward spiral rather than this like upward trajectory that you're talking about like oh, i plateau and bang i, yeah. I, I evolve oh, i plateau i bang i evolve and it just leads in the same direction yeah. the amount of times like after training especially when i used to train at nights um that i almost crashed my car like <laughs> yeah, thinking man. about going oh i could do <laughs> like and yeah. then i'm like okay like let's just focus on it we'll think about it when i get okay, home yeah, yeah. because but that's what you've got to do you got to have and you got to look at the failures, how you can apply them to get better. Yeah. And then when you when you um, have a win, like you sub you finally submit with some someone with uh, something you've been working on, yeah. like enjoy it, but like 
that's just that's just the start. You got to keep on working on. Yeah, like, those, I did it once. Now well. I need to do it in the next thing Correct. or the next time. And I really like the transfer of that mentality um, from jujitsu to real life as well. Yeah, whether yeah. it's in your job, relationships, whatever it might be, because sure. you're going to be delivered, you know, sadness and sorrow mm. um, through through different times in your life, and to have that. Okay, I'll take the hit. What am I going to learn? Yeah, yeah. And what's and what's with, the direction yeah. or the actions I need to take? To, to keep moving forward and, and hopefully avoid those things in the future. That, that's also something that we've, like, had come up in conversation with, like, you know, this is the 13th episode. Like, we always talk about, like, you know, what what has jiu-jitsu taught you? Not only, like, you know, to give you confidence in the, in the way that you can defend yourself physically yeah. and stuff like that, but, like, man, this is a compacted version of life, like you're saying. Yeah. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have to learn how to deal with them. You're going to have problems. You're going to have injuries. You're going to have catastrophic things that occur like how do you deal with this stuff yeah and i just think like a lot of people don't actually get to that point of recognizing you know what jiu-jitsu is a representation of life or a lot of martial arts are a representation of life yeah. you're going to deal with all the ups and downs and all the and it was know. something that i learned mm. as well like when i started i was like no, almost 30 years old um but i would say that like i still had like a, a quite an immaturity on failure yeah um and through jiu-jitsu like it's i, I wasn't a person that gave up yeah. but like how i dealt with it was not in a, in a positive way like i'd kind of be like you know kick the you know the yeah. table kind of thing da, 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 this is shit and i think this is a constant work yeah you're gonna open your mind more and more yeah to to, to isn't it like you're gonna Correct. have that failure you're, first you're gonna okay you you admit it you try to be better and then eventually you go like oh, what else i can take out or like there's more of other positions you mm. know like just carry on and yeah. exactly and eduardo like you know i've been with eduardo now for like you know 12 years as his, mm. as a coach and a mentor and he would have seen me through different yeah, life stages, things yeah. um and like i know that like where i was and you, this is another thing of uh, jiu-jitsu because it's a long journey you build up this this you know relationship with the coaches and yeah. other other practitioners that is very supportive and you go through peaks and troughs you know emotionally with training outside of that and i think that's equally as important yeah. as like the art of training and, and, and doing jiu jitsu yeah. as well and like i'm like an end product of that an end product <clears> in the <throat> sense that like where i am now i'm better than where i was 12 years ago, yeah. way better yeah. and i've still got a lot of stuff that i can keep yeah. on improving and will keep continue to prove on uh improve on so like yeah it's it, it's, just, a, it's a great addition to your life i think that's a really interesting like um perspective on it because we've never had anybody talk about like the way jiu-jitsu as a martial art or as an activity has helped like improve their relationship with failure like i, I just think that's a really interesting thing to note mm. because we've talked about people about accountability and it's gave giving them lots of confidence and it improved in um you know being um sensitive to certain things understanding this and that but like i think that's like a really important perspective to look at like it really does teach you how to accept and deal with failure which is something that's going to occur all the time in your life yeah and it, it also kind of teaches you um not only like the physical tools of how to deal with it in terms of like maneuvering past people and doing this but it gives you some mental tools to kind of go like all right well what what can i do right now to yeah, failure or bad feelings or whatever yeah. are an indicator or a catalyst all right something's not working for me right now mm -hmm. what do i need to do differently and Correct. I think that's a super interesting and that's, perspective. And that's definitely a, like a journey that I've been on the last 12 years yeah. is that from being 30 and, you know, kind of thinking that I knew everything, being 30 yeah. to now going, wow, like I, I knew nothing um, and like how far that's it's come. Fun, yeah. um, and I'm not even talking about jujitsu. I'm talking about life, life as, a, as a person. Life. Like I am 100% a way better person. Not as a bad person, but like just matured and address things in such a, 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 a better, positive and mature way yeah. to keep going forward. Yeah. Um, and like jujitsu has definitely taught me that, like on the mats, but also the people that. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and a follow. Check out all our different social media platforms. There's heaps of content coming out. There's different snippets and content on different on different platforms. So make sure you're on everything. And again, if it helped you out, recommend to somebody else, and hopefully it'll help them out too.